of weather. Unless we go along with Mike Stevens on a visit to the PhotoLink Library. Diane Marshman's title for this image in New Milford struck me. Wintry shadows on a road less traveled. Well, let's just travel and see what happens. To the fresh snow on the rocks in Dave Walsh's backyard garden in Shavertown. To the icicles Becky Latona of Fitston found. The bitter cold hasn't kept the beavers down. Evidence of their work from Mike Murphy of Hazelton. Interesting, unusual art. Of course, all that work can get you hungry. Greg Laird of Danville found a beaver on lunch break at Mahoning Creek. If your travels take you to the right place at the right time, you may end up capturing a shot like this. Richard Liebert of Eagles Mirror caught the moment at Indian Park, Montoursville. One of the favorite times to be out is sunrise if you can get past the cold. Mary Ann Hazel of Palmerton did and got the picture. Another favorite time, sunset. Avis Miller was there for one on the Susquehanna River. Tom Freimeyer of Krogan Station offers walnut trees against a multicolored sunset sky in Cascade Township. From Susan O'Connor of Dallas, a different view, running water at the Francis Slocum Dam pasting itself to the trees. Frank Saponsik of Shavertown captured winter at Bear Creek. Diane Hurley Long of Riverside captured it heading downstream on the Susquehanna. Gretchen Batchinger of Berwick slowed things down. On thin ice is the title of this one. This year, winter has turned bitterly cold and markedly unfriendly, but it has its moments. Mark Sipper brought us a winter moon through bare trees on a frigid night. And Donna Jankowski of Dushore offered us a bit of hope with a view down Pine Tree Trail light at the end of the tunnel and it is spring. See you next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens. That does it for News Watch 16 at 6. Up next, we'll